Roaring Game is rocking the soggy shores, and we're proud to be the title sponsor. We believe supporting local events like the Tankard is simply what good neighbors do for each other. We're Port Elgin Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram on Highway 21, and in our house, you'll find a great selection of new and used cars and trucks. Plus, our professional service team will always hurry hard to keep you on the road worry-free. We're Port Elgin Chrysler, driving community on the soggy shores. Good, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, final draw of the 2023 Port Elgin, Chrysler, Tankard, and Scotty's Championship. Uh, we have both our finals on the sheets uh, tonight. So, to see on sheet C, we have the men's final between uh, undefeated Tim Glenn Howard and uh, the semifinal winner in Team McEwen. Uh, we will uh, follow this sheet here if you're interested. He has the women's final between 6-1 uh, and one Team Holman, who were in uh, the first place by, and Team Duncan. So uh, both finals should be exciting. The crowd is jammed. There is not a seat in the house right now that I can see, Joey. You might be able to squeeze some, some people together, but it's going to take a... It's still going to take a stick of dynamite to find a seat in here right now. Uh, the standing room at the back a bit and a little bit upstairs, but that's about it. So uh, my broadcast partner for this afternoon has been uh, the last few... Uh, Five, six, seven, eight, ten draws. I don't know how many more, uh, Joey, but Joey Rettinger here. So, welcome. Happy Sunday, everyone. And uh, yeah, here we go, Steve. Uh, we're really looking forward to this uh, final. Um, two great teams, um, both in the men's and the ladies. And there's zero doubt that we're going to have a great representative of Ontario in the next uh, two and a half, three hours. So, yeah. buckle up. Pretty much everything on the line for most of the teams. I think Rachel is probably the only one that uh, could potentially earn a CTRS berth uh, to the to the championship. They didn't happen to win. I think uh, and the men's, both Team McEwen and Team Howard are uh, quite a bit down the ranks. They'd have to, a bunch of teams would have to win. And so we'll keep an eye on it. We'll let you know. Uh, we don't know anymore when those those uh, invites come out. They come out after the, uh, the championships are all done across the provinces. But uh, Rachel being number two in the CTRS list, I'm pretty sure she's uh, safe to say the least. Um, so it's going to come down to who wins this event, gets to go to the Briar in London. Um, the women are going to Kamloops in a couple of weeks. So exciting stuff. Uh, the Briar being hosted in London. Uh, we talked about it all week, talked to the host committee. They were up here. Uh, Coach Harris, Peter Inch, and uh, Ted Smith were up for a few days each to, with the Briar Tankard. Uh, fans got to take some pictures with the Tankard and our Tankard. So it was a lot of fun. And uh, in talking with uh, Peter Inch, they've, uh, ticket sales are really going well. They're anticipating a sellout crowd. Uh, and then uh, Elaine Brimacombe and her committee out in uh, Ottawa with the Ford Men's Worlds uh, are saying ticket sales are going very, very well. And, uh, you know, we've had some, seen some great success at events in Ottawa with the trials a few years ago, the, the, the Briar. So uh, two big events coming to Ontario this year. It's, uh, it's exciting stuff. It is. Uh, right now, uh, we just have Team uh, Howard and uh, Team Holman uh, finishing up their uh, their practice. Uh, earlier um, today, uh, both uh, Team Howard and McEwen were out here uh, matching rocks. And uh, now with the uh, the practice, uh, the, you're out of the button as uh, yeah. 
both Howard and uh, Holman have secured the uh, last rock advantage. Yeah. Based on how they finished, uh, Team Howard going through undefeated, Team Homing having one loss, they both come in with what we'll call the advantage in the last round. They got the bye to the final, and they get to choose their set of rocks first. Uh, so they pick their color, and they get hammer in the first end. So that's a pretty big uh, carrot. And, uh, you know, so Team Howard here has obviously chosen blue rocks, as that's the ones we're practicing with. They, they naturally would take hammer. Uh, can't see a team not taking hammer when you got that opportunity. So we're going to get to see. And the same would happen on, on sheet B, which uh, if you're uh, looking for the action on that game, you want to do a split screen where you have the technology there for you. Um, you can go to www.curlontv.ca. And uh, both, uh, both ones will be linked for you right there. And uh, you'll be able to watch both games if you want. we got Mary Chilvers and uh, Sam Steep on sheet B. Been doing excellent commentary all week. We want to thank everybody that's been watching us all week. Uh, we were doing some stats this morning, Joey, and uh, we're over 344,000 views for the week. Uh, we know there's some watch parties out there, that, so they don't count. They count as one. I, I saw the pen and Tanguishing Curling Club you were just showing me on your phone a few minutes ago. It's packed. Welcome. Uh, hi to everybody in Pen and Tanguishing. I'm sure cheering on uh, Team Glenn Howard, I'm going to guess. Um, and then I'm sure there's some other watch parties out there going on at clubs. I know I've heard through the week that there's been clubs running the streaming at night uh, during their curling so they can sit there and watch it. We appreciate that. So, you know, when you start adding those numbers up, Joey, we're going to be getting close to a million people that have watched this event this week. Uh, that's pretty big stuff. This is something that we dreamed up uh, five, six years ago and started, and uh, we're getting there, folks. We, we, uh, we're going to continue growing it and expanding what we can do for you. Uh, you know, so it's uh, literally game time. And here we go. Oh, they're still practice. Oh, sorry, second practice to start. I'm sorry. I'll get. I'll be okay. Second practice. Um, so second practice. We've got a little more time to chat then, Joey. Um, so yeah, we've been developing this product now for. Uh, you know, we got slowed down by COVID, um, but uh, I'll tell you, we're close to where we want to be. We're uh, we're enjoying uh, what's happening and the viewership. Uh, it's going to help us. Uh, you know, to work with the players and uh, expand the product. Uh, we get to broadcast all of our championships pretty much this year um, that'll uh, that'll get expanded so that every single championship in Ontario will be uh, broadcast uh, every provincial championship will be broadcast in some form next year I'm sure Colin in the trucks just groaning and going oh boy more work but uh, you know we, we have a couple of versions of our of our product we can uh, we can do we have the static version where you just see the home end and the away end and and then we have these uh, live commentaries uh, and then we have so we're working through it and getting things to be uh, to the way we want. Uh, you know, are we TSN? Are we Sportsnet? Nope. But we are Curl on TV, and we're proud of what we can do and to be able to offer you the broadcast. So sit back, enjoy. We're a little late starting. Uh, just between the extra end and the uh, women's semifinal this morning that was won by Team Duncan over Team Inglis, who, who both teams had a great week. It's always sad to see somebody leave, Joey. And you know, hate to say it is what it is, but it is what it is. You know, you work hard all week, you have a great week, and, you know, a couple of shots here and there, and, you know, you meet a hot opponent. Uh, it's like meeting a good goaltender in the, uh, in the, you know, in the in the hockey. Suddenly, uh, you're on the outside looking in. But uh, Team Inglis, I talked to them earlier. They had a great week. Uh, they're upbeat. They're looking forward already to planning and getting ready for next year. Yeah, that was a great game this morning, going to an extra end, and uh, it was only a matter of inches that... Uh, um, brought Team Duncan into the final, um, so yeah, we're uh, we're just uh, buying some time here, and uh, the crowd is uh, very much anticipating uh, two great finals today. Yeah, you can see what they're playing for on the screen right now. You've got, uh, you know, the Tanker Trophy. Uh, it's been around since 1927, I think, and then the the um, Scotty's Trophy, which obviously is a little smaller. We're going to fix that, but it's uh, it's been around since 74, so it, it has to age a little more to get bigger, and I'm teasing. We're going to add a base to it shortly. We're running out of space, so it's going to be bigger, and uh, you know, uh, all the teams this week uh, played for a uh, in each division, played for a $20,000, and I'm not going to call it prize purse because we split the money evenly as per the request of the players, so the host committee uh, put up uh, 10000 for the men, 10000 for the women. We put up, uh, as Curl on, the same thing out of our ticket sales proceeds and whatnot, so you know, each of the teams received roughly just under $2,000 for being here. Um, the players voted on it about three weeks ago and decided to split the money evenly instead of having a prize purse. So 
Uh, that was done. Uh, it's one of the things that we've added here in Ontario this year to all our events is the prize purse, uh, you know, on some of the, and I hate to call them lesser rank because people playing in it uh, are playing, but, you know, average probably 2,500 per section uh, at the seniors and places like that, Masters. So, you know, we've, uh, you know, we're trying to develop a product that uh, has the teams and players wanting to be involved and getting rewarded for their hard work, you know, when they get a bit of a chunk of the gate here and goes to their pockets to help offset some of the expenses. It's a long week up here for them, just as much as it is for us. So, yes, we've talked all week about the uh, 240 volunteers here uh, uh, from around the area um, and the host committee of Port Elgin Curling Club. Uh, hats off to them. It uh, couldn't have gone any better all week, and uh, today's just going to cap it off. Uh, we also talked all week about uh, the game itself here uh, with the uh, no-tick uh, rule. Uh, where the uh, the rocks uh, touching the center line cannot be removed, uh, they can be budged, but not not removed from the center line through the first five rocks. Yeah, that's a, a new rule that uh, was tested at the Grand Slams by the players, uh, the request of the players, and uh, the World Curling Federation decided they were going to try it at the uh, at the sorry at the worlds this year so once they decided that was going to happen to the worlds then they they cut it back and brought it into the uh brought it into the canadian the briar scotties so once that was announced then curlon decided it was the same thing and away we go and uh you know we might as well play under the rules they're going to play out at the, the next level so the team's up there giving you a shot of the crowd you can see it's uh it's full uh you know i don't know if anybody you can count an empty seat i don't uh so full crowd uh, i would say that's probably in the 950 to 1,000. Joey, we had, I think, we calculated 1088 if we filled up to the rim. But that would be, you know, full of the rafters with uh, a ton of the back in the lounge behind the sheet. Uh, I look down and I see them roughly almost too deep everywhere, and I think it'll, it'll fill in yet. So we're looking forward to it. We got it uh, about a minute 30 left in this practice, and then you'll see them uh, go live here, and uh, we'll be into curling action. Once the event's over, the the main portion, the curling part of it over, we will broadcast uh, here from sheet C the uh, trophy presentations. So uh, you'll see the teams get marched up. Uh, host committee's provided a bagpiper. We get the uh, bagpipes out and uh, cheer on our champions. So. Love it. And they'll become, uh, as much as you might be cheering for another team during this final, uh, well, win or lose, I'm sure you're going to be cheering for Team Ontario once they're declared and they go to the Briar or Scotty. So we're looking forward to uh, a, a, having a champion and uh, cheering them on. Following this, uh, this exact game uh, just the other day, yes. uh, not unexpected, very close uh, battle uh, with Team Howard prevailing. Expect no different uh, today. We're gonna s we're gonna see uh, some phenomenal shot making and uh, more than likely a very close competition. Yeah, I you know, I, listen, we're in the championship final. I don't expect, barring uh, uh, some huge mistakes, which the level of curling these uh, these gentlemen bring to the to the action is it's going to be a tight game. I, I expect it to be a one or two point game either way. I expect the same on uh, on sheet B. So the players in their uh, rock decision making earlier were talking about the broadcast this morning, and the, the players and the announcers both found that the ice was uh, slightly quicker um, okay. than before, and uh, they were getting a little little quicker time. So we'll keep an eye on the the hog to hog speed and. Uh, Yeah, I can confirm that uh, in talking with uh, Scotty Muir, our uh, head ice tech, who's uh, got a team up here with him um, from our Ontario ice team and some local dedicated volunteers helping them mop. And uh, it, it takes a takes a large group to put on an event like this. So they had a group of people help them install. They worked through the night one night uh, along with us. And uh, you see uh, Dave Middleton uh, heading down to the other end, getting ready to do the opening announcement. He uh, is riring up the crowd. So we'll uh, get to have fun. We'll be quiet while he does the intros. Uh, actually, why don't we do the uh, team intros right now while we have a second? So we'll do the team intros while uh, Mr. Middleton is uh, talking away.
Introducing, from the Penetang Machine Curling Club, Team Howard. Skip, Glenn Howard. Vice, Scott Howard. Second, David Mathers. Lead, Tim March. Alternate, Adam Spencer. Team Howard would like to thank their sponsors. The Beer Store. New Floors. Broker Link. And VR. Introducing from the Royal Canadian Curling Club, Team McEwen. Skip, Mike McEwen. Vice, Ryan Fry. Second, Brent Lang. Lead, Joey Hart. Coach, Richard Hart. Team McEwen would like to thank their sponsors. Cool Bet. Princess Auto. Hardline. Please welcome Team Holly. Welcome back. Uh, announcer Dave Middleton is just finishing up uh, with the uh, team intro, so we'll just uh, sit here quietly and listen. In the tankard final this afternoon, please welcome representing the Penetang Machine Curling Club, Team Glenn Howard. Be loud, be proud, soggy shores. Ladies and gentlemen, the ice is yours. Good curling. So we're probably less than a minute away from uh, curling action here, folks, and uh, we're looking forward to an exciting game, Joey. I'm going to settle in and enjoy. This is uh, the last draw of uh, a long day for a couple of days, not a couple of days, a week and a half for our team, so it's, uh, it's going to be great. Looking further and further yeah, this is away. a treat of a game to call. Uh, very honored to be here, and uh, just like a uh, kid at Christmas, I'm excited to uh, <laughs> to watch this unfold. So as we stated, Team Howard has the hammer in the first end, so they're going uh, to uh, watch McEwen. We'll be interested to see if Mike uh, decides to call it in or if he goes for the guard right out of the chute. Um, calling it in would be, in my opinion, a defensive play, not, not an incorrect play, just a defensive, and they're going to say, look, we're... Not willing to mix it up just yet. Uh, going for the guard will be uh, will be normal. Would say, hey, we're ready to mix it up right here, right now. So we'll see what's going on. Yes, uh, we are playing in ten ends here, and uh, Mike and Brent just had a quick discussion, so we're gonna we're gonna get the answer here in a minute. So uh, Mike McEwen, let's uh, lead Richard, uh, Joey Hart, Richard coaching. Um. That's good. Real good line, I'm holding. I'm guessing guard, but. Yeah. Holding. This is uh, out front. Wait, good. Game Real on. Good line. Get ready, Langer. Gotta go. So they want to put this on the center line, okay, as we there, talked about, the no-tick center line Great rule. Yeah. So a rock uh, in Good. the free guard zone on the center line cannot be moved off the center line or moved into the rings until after the fifth rock is thrown. So that rock's safe for a bit. If, if uh, Team Howard, for example, coming around, if they were to touch that rock, move it off center line, their rock would be classified the same as a burnt rock. It would be kicked off, and the two, well, yellow rock would go now. back to where it was. So Lead Tim March. Being asked to come around. Sweepers feel sure, it's behind Joe. the T line. Yeah, they're staying back uh, four plus, and now they're real heavy. So, so they're going to try and drag it. <laughs> Might open too. If you hit that. Boys, this end says wide open. We can hit it. So. Board. 
We've seen all week we're uh, bored to uh, hack weight hits. Have, uh, you could almost have that rock buried and they can get to it. Uh, get right to nose. Um, the ice has been it's good. It's really fantastic. Down. Uh, like I said earlier, we thank Scotty down. Muir and his group of uh, merry men for all their uh, help in getting this ready and rolling. I was thinking hit. Oh boy. Yeah. Glenn's gonna ask Tim March to draw in around, this time in front of the T lane. <laughs> yeah, with that, with that rock behind uh, the back, but being a yellow rock, they're uh, pretty good though. That's what you want to do. Good shots, Joe. They're able to uh, position a rock that if. Uh, Team McEwen tried to go out on the same really side. It's a jam potential, so it doesn't concern them uh, with hammer at all. That's Can't more, uh, you know, Team McEwen would be more concerned with it hanging Shot around him. back there. So 14. you can see this rock came all the way in and is uh, a little overburied. You can Shot probably him. see a sliver the on the intern side. No, it's quick. Mike's going to call the run back. I actually thought you were feeling it. Yeah, I like it. Second, Brent Lang. Yep. Hard. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Yep. Whoa. Yeah. Good throw, Aaron. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So, uh, as we've been saying Just all week, these the guys line. make uh, run backs with regularity. Uh, okay. They make them look easy. They're not that easy. Hey, freeze in the back. Um, Okay, just top four. Yeah. Okay. Team uh, Howard, going to come around again. Asking uh, David hey, Mathers, long time second for them recently. Wait there. 15-3. So uh, Ryan uh, Fry just said 15-3, okay. um, which is quicker than our sheet was last night. Joey, we were 14-5, uh, down yeah. to 14-2 at the very end, I think. So 15-3 between the Hogs. Um, that means uh, that, that ice is pretty quick. And quick and uh, big, big curl, which is great. Both teams. Want that? Yeah, and the players also just the like players really want consistency. Still? That's what's so important to them is that you know everything's the same. They can they can play between games and understand that the curl's going to be similar. So it's all good. It's uh, they're quite happy with it. I haven't heard a ton of uh, complaints. And as you're well aware, with uh, when you lose a game, sometimes it's easy to decide that it's somebody else's fault. Sit, sit, sit. Good yeah, that yellow rock just did hang around. Oh boy, Langer. Shot. And this is second, David Mathers. Started to move right at the end a little. Shot, whoa, whoa, whoa. Shot Dave. Shot Dave. Yeah. yeah. Gonna hit that, eh? <laughs> team McEwen's going to take no chances uh, on the first end here. They're not going to yeah, leave uh, Team Howard good. any potential okay. counters, so they're going to just go ahead and hit this. What do you think? Try and uh, you think this lie too. Speed? Yeah. He what wants to uh, hit and remove it, but uh, he does want to roll away a little bit, so there's no pocket. Or double, right? Because they could easily uh, score a steal here. Go. Clean! Yep! Clean! Yep! Gotta go! Hard, Joe. Hard, buddy. Hard, buddy. Hard, 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 hard. Okay, good piece. Just hack. Okay. 
I got all the way out to that langer. Okay. Yeah. Just kind of I like, don't, I don't think you can do that. just kind of like center the broom and just pitched it to the backside. Tim, harder! Scott Howard Vice removes that rock. Oh, this is pretty That's good. Smoking, boys. Better known as Gomer. That's yeah. smoking. Uh, I thought it was going to be good there. I think yeah, a lot of teams good. give uh, way, players uh, yeah, over the well years, they'll give them a nickname, so. Yeah, I, I think that'll, that'll be close now. Okay. Third for Team McEwen, Ryan Fry. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Clean. Whoa. Curl. Ryan's played for Whoa, straight, several straight, strong straight. teams over his career. Hard. Hard job. Had some success, uh, right winning up, right a gold up. medal. Good, good. Yep. That's right probably up. as good as it gets. Uh, not many of us walking around joy with a gold medal around our neck. So uh, yep. Ryan has uh, the distinct pleasure of calling himself a gold medalist or in sport of yeah. curling. Yeah. Call. Yeah. Won it when he was uh, playing Vice. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, Northern Ontario oh, Provincials is going on up there, and I heard that uh, oh, 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 Brad Tim. came out of retirement, uh, short, very short retirement. Um, harder, Tim. Harder. To uh, join harder. with the team up there, and uh, I heard they lost in the C qualifier yep. last night. So. Yep. Yep. We're going to see a different name at the top of the leaderboard in Northern Ontario this year. Yeah. Yeah, I did see uh, Team Horgan is in the final uh, up there. And uh, if you're a curling fan, there's all kinds of provincials across the country on on, on today. Well, it's getting uh, closer and closer that that Whoa, rock clean. is uh, yep. you know, getting half yep. buried now. It's uh, Whoa. Whoa. behind clean. the center line guard. Clean. Yep. Whoa. Clean. Yep. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Curl. 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 Calling for it to curl here, so Brent Lang is going to work it over. And uh, they click the other rock. But leaves. So oh, the blue got out. So they're, uh, Sorry, that's I good. I didn't adjust to the heavier call. Uh, Good call. Something in hack. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was gonna. Do you like hack? I just, yeah, just that little extra weight. Good shot. And Skip Glenn Howard needs no introduction. 19-time champion, known as the Wizard of Winter, and Cliffy. <laughs> Glenn with his patent lift delivery. Clean. Silky smooth. Yep. No pop, no extension whoa, release. Whoa. Yep. Whoa, whoa. Yep. Whoa. Yep, whoa. Yep. yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice shot. Glenn uh, gets that fully buried. Um, Draw a tap. So or? Team Are McEwen. You, good call, I boys. You can kill it with the end. Just the hair. That's all. Okay. To uh, see what feel. they can do and see I if they can, can get. Kill that with the end. So Mike thinks he can kill it with the end. He said so, which means he thinks he can throw just through the ring's weight and get it to like uh, it. Go, get it to go through. And this is what you're talking about earlier, Steve. And yeah, just got to get it out there, and we've got a chance. Curl is, uh, I won't say gradual. It is. Very aggressive. Uh, they can I make this shot and almost get it buried. I, I, listen, it's going to be, they're going to hit a third, probably the rock, but uh, 
Sweeping is critical. Throwing the right weight. We noticed uh, all week. If you up your weight any amount, it uh, tends to track a little longer. And Just a tiny bit takes, more. It takes yeah. harder to get to the break point. Mike McEwen with his Manitoba Tech deliveries. Used it his Whoa. entire career. No, they're asking for it to be carved. They're asking Joey to carve this hard across, and you're going to see this rock miss the guard. And now they're calling straight, which means they've got it to nose. So as we said, it's incredible what you can do. Uh, so challenge back and forth. Uh, they're saying, there you go, Glenn. Go get it. And so Glenn's going to be forced here in one uh, if he can make this shot. And those last two shots just incredibly perfect. Heavy here. They're going to try and get uh, Dave Mathers to carve this as far as he can. And uh, oh, that's unfortunate. Just too heavy, as we said, and too uh, too yellow. So um, as we said, just uh, a hair more speed, and it uh, tracks a little longer. So unfortunate steal there, but two for McEwen after the first end. Thinking about a home renovation? Castle Building Centers will make your home renovation plans a reality. Whether you're starting to build from scratch or just adding on, Castle is the best place to start. Visit your local Castle store for the best products, value, and service. And for all your building material needs. Castle Building Centers is a proud sponsor of the 2023 Ontario Scotties and Ontario Tankard in Fort Elgin. Visit your local Castle Building Center or go to castle.ca to find a dealer near you. Okay, everybody, welcome back. Um, so, uh, you know, we talked about that earlier, Joey. If you uh, hit it just a hair too much, it, uh, a little extra weight carried it straight on uh, on Glenn, and they couldn't carve it enough to uh, to do that. So uh, here we are on the second end. You know, like you said earlier this week, uh, giving up a number in the first is not going to hurt you here. you got nine more ends. So this is a veteran team. They know it, so they'll uh, bear down here and try and score the deuce in second. Tim McEwen had a brief discussion on this first rock. Uh, Mike's first thought was a tight guard, but the the team decided to go in. And uh, Joey Hart that's good. That's good spot, bud. just that's came good up a little late, but uh, no, that's good. It's fine out front on the center. Yeah, the whole goal was up front uh, on the center is okay. So you'll see how Team Howard put up corner or corner guards, uh, depending on their offensive idea. Just looking at uh, Northern Ontario, we see that Team Horgan will be playing Team Sandy McEwen uh, for the Northern Ontario Championship. I had the pleasure of curling with Sandy many years ago. Um, I threw lead walks, but because I was the old guy, I got to call the house uh, after uh, during the skip rock, so I only had to sweep four, which was I'm very grateful for. Nice. I think so were they, because they figured you can't sweep anything anyways. Hey, line's real good. Yeah. Come around here with... Uh, Team McEwen, Joey's weight in the last game we watched, we commented, was right on all night. He uh, had very little, very little weight uh, loss here. So, yeah, we talked about the dynamic of uh, Team Howard having father and son on the team, and for Team McEwen now, you've got uh, Joey Hart at lead and uh, Richard Hart coaching. So, pretty cool. Yeah, it looks similar to what we've been throwing, like what he's been throwing. T line, too much. Getting good. 
Still bouncing. Creeping to slow it down. Uh, stop. Stop. Uh, well, I don't know. Keep crawling. Keep crawling. A little bounce off there. No, I'm D's. Gives Mike a chance to. Yeah. Good weld it too. I, I, th I think you kill it though. What? I think you, you move it out. Yeah, I think so. What? Is it? I'm seeing board in this track. In this track board. So yes, again, Mike is looking for a little top no, and inside roll so. to the center line. Yeah, they're going to remove that blue rock. They're not going to take any chances and uh, allow that rock to hang out. So they're going to move it Four. and uh, Maybe down. quick update on sheet V. Team Holman with hammer in the first took two, so uh, they've got a two lead, two nothing lead going into the second. And this rock is crashing the center line guard really quick. So they're going to try and get it to the nose now and. No. Yeah, I thought you were little, not not back four. Yeah. Thanks. Out. Yeah, Look like an intern shot. Good. Yes. Team just confirming. Yeah. You can hear them talking, saying speed will be nice here, and so they just there's a constant communication out here on the ice, and it's uh, it's imperative for them to know uh, what's going on and where they're heading. Wait, get, wait there. Airball, small bump. Small bump. Yes. Wait, it's okay. Hard line. Really hard line. Hard, Tim. <coughs> Harder, Tim. This, Harder. This is a freeze attempt. Yeah, Harder, they're Tim. asking Tim Martz to Harder, Tim. Wait, there. keep this out there and get past that guard. So now Tim held it so long. Now they're asking uh, Scotty to carve it in there a little bit. So they're quite happy with that. Some... Uh, Pretty strong sweepers on both teams here, and they've got an opportunity to, uh, to take advantage of uh, how they can manipulate rocks. Still, nosing this is still good. Yeah. I think you take that on. Sold hack. In the game beside us, Rachel Holman did take two in the first end. Rachel lost uh, one game early in the draw, you know, early in the week, and uh, settled in into a pretty Wait, good. routine we're we're used to seeing, and uh, you know, started to uh, control games early, and Rachel was joined by uh, Tracy Flurry uh, this year. Um, she calls the. Uh, the game, uh, Rachel sweeps, uh, and then uh, she throws vice rocks, and then comes. Okay. That's pretty good. Some people have questioned why we don't call it Team Flurry. Uh, that's because they signed up as Team Holman. The simple answer is that. They tell us what they want to be called, and we, that's what we call them. So if you're a Team Tracy Flurry fan, you're also a Team Rachel Holman fan, and that's how they want to be called. So guess what? Who are we to argue? Yep. Wait's good. Tim Merch leaning all over this. All right. Just over curl a little bit. Uh, he's back on it again. I don't think you have a choice, though. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're, you're hitting this. Well. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah. I, th I think you, you play the end then. Oh, Mike, you're good luck to have. Sure. Luck to the out's fine. Yeah. I'm fine with this. Team McEwen, like most of the teams, done by committee there. Um, Brent Lang uh, voiced his opinion, and Mike immediately agreed. So Ryan's, Ryan's coming in and uh, freezing in the crotch of the uh, yellow blue at the, the top of the four. Good, guys. 
straight. Curl. Curl, Joe. That's for speed. Curl, Joe. Get it in there. Open up the yellow. Keep going. Keep going, buddy. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Okay. You get half and all the elbow, don't they? Gotta get it in low, we can. Yeah. Yeah, it's not great. But if I get low, is it not pretty good? The other option is to run the triple. What if I nose the guard? Shoot. Not bad. Uh, I should have kept my mouth shut. Oh, I just said, let's go a little faster today. Yep. And this game does involve time clocks, which we'll keep an eye on. Not normally uh, an issue, but it uh, is part of the game. Got to go line. Hard line. Really hard line. Really hard line, Tim. Really hard line, Tim. Got to go hard, Tim. You still got it. You got to go, though. Hard! Go, Tim, go. Harder! Hard! Wow. Just, just, just a small redirect. It just touched it by a it right. whisker. All of them, Ryan. Yeah, you hit it right. I just don't want to. If we kill yeah, ours, I mean, I make sure of this. Yeah, if we kill ours, it's real bad though. If we stuff, stuff this here, stuff oh, this. Those two stick, right? Or that six might go. Just some incredible sweeping there by Tim March. Nice broom wow. to lean on. When, team lean, when Tim uh, puts all his uh, upper weight on that broom and starts moving, it, it's a lot of pressure, downward pressure. And uh, the new philosophy on sweeping is uh, you can want the uh, away stroke, which is your most powerful stroke, um, to be on the path the rock is like this, trying Mike. to chase the rock. So if you're trying like to stop the rock from Ryan curling, you want the sweeper. I like your call. It's opposite of the curl side to be sweeping. And if you're trying to chase it in, drag it in, then you want that sweeper sort of leading the rock down the thing. And, you know, Joe, you've been talking about knifing. Um, some teams you'll see the sweeper get in behind the rock with both feet and uh, turn their broom almost like a knife and they're carving, trying to cut I think you're get a path a down the way. And okay, it's half rock, Mike. Yeah, half's going, bud. I think this is good. Going to see some upper weight here from Ryan Fry. It's got half a rock, they're saying, and uh, wow. just gonna pick both. Go, 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 go. It's a little quicker. <laughs> Need a little bit more movement there, or uh, tighten up the broom, or Ryan had to hit it, whatever. Like a, they I needed to just hit it just a hair tick that. thicker, they were saying, so. If I lock it, doesn't he just. Oh. That's really thin, isn't it? No, no. Like uh, half close. Okay. I like that. Mm. Glenn does have the hammer here. He's uh, going to remove as many yellows as possible in the rings yep, yep. by running this Harder. yellow back. Harder, Tim. Uh, the team McEwen can't take both sides away from uh, Team Howard, so they're gonna, they were just deciding, you know, what side are they going to guard? What else do you play? Well, I think you guard the three, does he do this? What's, what's wrong with that? <laughs> You're guarding the three. How does he do that? Oh, oh, so I see two threes. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, buddy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this three. Got two threes. Guard this one. Is that or come in here right mm -hmm. now? So in the championship yeah, final, in any playoff game, teams yeah. get to choose yeah. the rocks, and in this championship, because we had... Uh, like Both men, women are here. The women have the option to choose from sheet A or B, yeah. and the men from sheet it, uh, C or D. So Ryan said, well, we're guarding the three, yeah. but it happens to be that they that's have a three okay, from sheet good. C and a three from sheet D, so they're going, which three? <laughs> so it's uh, something you have to pay attention to, and they, they had a chance to practice before the game and pick the rocks they wanted from uh, both those sheets. Yeah, so I mean, Rachel's uh, team had the same. So uh, Rachel and uh, Holly had the same, so... They should be comfortable with the rocks. They know them. They practice them and pick them. And so these are the two I want. Okay. Let it. Let
Let's settle a bit. Amazing Even how the crowd can go so quiet and then. Yeah. Okay. It's two uh, Holly Duncan's also Go drying on her sheet, so everybody is just kind of taking a deep yep. breath. Whoa, 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 yes, yep, yes, yep, whoa, 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 yep. On our sheet. Pretty good. Tim McKeon was looking to be just no. a little bit higher. Um, I thought, I thought, for sure. Yeah, like even if you get this to spin to here. Yeah. It looks like Team uh, Howard's going to hit what they can see of that uh, rock of the top okay. four. And with any luck, roll the one they hit out into the back eight, back 12. They're not going to be able to keep the shooter, I don't think. And I'm, like, I think I, that I heard them call yeah, normal weight. Normal, I think you're gone, aren't you? Yeah. Solid board? Okay. Like you, it, so they're trying to bring the weight down yeah. uh, yeah. and, and try and hit what they can it. see. Hey, um, your shooter here, it's real good. Solid board? Okay. Like that? They're gonna be, uh, I guarantee you they're going to be asking uh, Tim March to hold this rock in, uh, in play. He's used to it. He's going to get a workout again today, though. that uh, Holly came up just a hair short. Oh, let's watch what happens here. So what a Howard great. makes a great shot and sticks around for two. What a great shot so, that is. So, uh, you know, that's uh, always a good thing to have a sweeper who can uh, hold the rock. They actually had to get him off it at the end because he'd held it out so far. Called it and made it perfect yep. and stuck around. So we can confirm that on sheet uh, B, team uh, dunking here just a hair short. I mean like a hair short with their draw for two. So they've scored one. Um, yeah. Rachel Holman's team takes a 2-1 lead into this third end. And then Mike has an opportunity to come around here with perfect weight and just lock it on. Uh, team McEwen's going to try and freeze this. Uh, we've seen the curl here. It's, uh, it's really good. And that blue is just at the back four, which gives Mike an opportunity. What do you got for me, boys? Line's good. Yep. Line's, Line's good. Whoa. Line's good. Stay on it. Whoa. Room. Curl. Curl. I'm seeing they're trying to hard carve Come this on, in Joe. all the way. Come on, Joe. It's uh, hanging Get out there. Joe. It doesn't get in. Uh, on, Joe. Go, Joe. Uh, successful to, uh, I believe, get into shot position. So, well done by Team uh, McEwen. Now, how much of that rock can you see? Half? Schmidt's maybe a half-ish, yeah. yeah. So, we're looking at a, a pick here? I can obviously hit too much. Yep. It's, I'll call it. And try and pick it sideways for his two? I think that's what they're looking at, yes. Glenn said he can hit too much, which means they're afraid of the jam at the back of the four, so. So last stone in the second end here. Yep, yep. Oh, this hand, they got, team, they got Dave oh, Mathers no, on Dave. this rock, oh. I'm afraid. It's going to be really close. No. So it's a steal of uh, one for Team McEwen to take a 3 nothing lead into the third end. Nephew's number one fan, Holiday and Express. We're there, so you can be too. Yeah. 
Welcome back, everyone. A uh, couple of uh, really close misses, unfortunately, for Team Howard. He's a little heavy in his first, and then that one just overcurled more than they thought. And uh, so it's a 3 nothing lead for Team McEwen. So I think you'll see Glenn uh, doing everything he can here to get his deuce. They're not going to want this game to get too far away from them. So, And they're not panicking by any means yet. It's just... Uh, let me know. They need something positive to happen. Uh, their body language is a little tough, and you know they've been working hard all week, and all of a sudden they're facing some adversity here. So, yep, they, they've had a couple. They had a couple close games in the round robin. I know the team against team, uh, the game against Team Fournier was uh, right down. They were behind quite a bit and uh, came back in the eighth and uh, eighth, ninth, and tenth to uh, take the game away. So, they're not, uh, they're not unused to this. Uh, attempt at times, so they've been around a long time. They know what's going on. Same thing in the Team Rooney game, uh, almost identical, and uh, you can bet for certain that uh, Glenn's going to park that and be be back at him here in a minute. Richie, can you grab me a water? Thanks. Stop it, Joe. And in a 10 in game, at, uh, if you're going to give up steals of two and one, okay. not Wait, ideal, no but if you're going to do it, to and work. one and two is your best bat. Maybe. No, 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 it's going to curl onto it. Hey, as long as it's curling onto it, we're okay. You've got some time to recover. Okay, buddy. okay Joe. You like this? It's all good. That slid better. We got a tassel, so we? Glenn's going to use that uh, blue corner guard that he. Oh, sorry, he's going with the double corner. Yeah, it's time they need to uh, create some offense. So you're going to see them uh, work on things. See if they can uh, generate some offense with the corner guards. Oh, sorry, I thought he was going around the corner. Scott, Dave, hit him. Thanks, buddy. Thinking about tapping this length. Yeah. What? Yeah, I like. Oh, you better tap it behind the butt. What if you tap the other one? This is good. Okay. Yeah, I like that. No, I agree. Steve McEwen will bring the rock in with a three point lead. Uh, you'll see probably Team Howard trying to Take shuffle the rocks way. around and bury their shooter by uh, playing a back line type, yeah. type hit or moving around. So I assume, anyways, they may just straight up, straight up draw around the corner guard at this point. Because you know that Team McEwen is going to be peeling on the next rock. Okay, okay, okay. You're right. You're right. We're heavy. Yeah, we're uh, we're real heavy. Yeah, I don't think you can even hit it. Try, try, try though. Try. And it's heavy here. Out of uh, they're afraid they can't even hit the rock. So that means it's moving across now. Oh, what a sweeper! So it's uh, getting right to the nose. They were at one point afraid they wouldn't even hit it, and. Uh, Joey Hart helped carve it across. So as we called, uh, Team Howard's trying to Shuffle a rock out of the way, roll their shooter under cover. And they can hold these rocks, eh? Shot. Shot. Put it right to the nose, which is fine too, because it's, it's really hard to uh, pick this without getting rid of that yellow rock. Thanks. Well, I'm, just, I'm just worried he freezes. Rip the guard. Rip this one. The guards are the trouble rocks for Team McEwen right yeah. now, so they're just okay. going to make them go away. Yeah. This won't this is run where you throw it. Yep. Hard. Hard. Hard, 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 
Well, mission accomplished, and uh, now we'll see what Glenn's strategy is. It looks like he's going to try and come around this one of the other guard. We saw the last night in our semifinal, Joey, that uh, you need to almost get this half overburied, or else they can chase it uh, without a dip. And if you overbury too much, they can still get it from the outside. It's really hard to uh, hide a rock behind a corner guard here. It's hard to hide a rock, period, right now. It is. Because even if you get it around and it's perfectly buried, they, then they'll throw the run back at you. They're uh, trying to drag this as far as they can here. The rock uh, half buried. But trust me, uh, Tim McEwen can, can, they just said thick half to the double. I only have that. I think we're just rolling in there. Right, right here makes the double. I, I. Let's do that. Yeah. Yeah, just, just roll in here. Brian, a little concerned that um, he only had what he could see, uh, what they're asking for. So he okay. said, let's uh, just hit it and roll the middle. That way we can secure what we're looking for. Heavy board. And they're going to try and uh, make Joey drag it over, and this rock's going to roll in towards the middle as called. And then perfectly executed. Great team shot again. Good sweep. That's pretty good. Can I go around the corner? Yellow triple goes, doesn't it? Oh, this stage, but that's fine. Probably loses two. Same speed as the last one, or? Scott Howard drawing around the corner here. Talked about uh, top eight, top eight, whether they can make the heavy. all yellows go. Felt um, heavy. They don't think they can. Room, room, room. Get a move. Oops, uh, Easy, Tim. He's got to curl a ton. So they're hey, looking to hey, carve hey. this uh, now. Wide open. This, uh, this rock at this point going across the hog line Harder. is just just on the it's still going. on the forefoot. Now it's dragging, and they're trying to go as open. far as they can. Boys, I bombed that. I said it's so heavy when I let it go. Did hang around at the back. Yeah, coming you know coming across the hog line, they were just inside the button, and look where that rock finished. It's uh, you know stuck out the other side of the guard. Sure, whatever you're. Yeah, it's halfway open on the so side. Deep, uh, they had to sweep it so much that uh, they were trying to carve it, so they uh, they, they dragged it way back. Um, so Team McEwen's going to eliminate the sto stone by just going in front of it. That felt light. Easy, it should run good. It should run well. Line's holding for you. Line's holding. Like it's a curl. Like it's a curl. Straight, straight now. It's just this one. Yep. Keep going, buddy. As uh, requested. I think you're going to see Glenn Howard attack the middle here. Can't wait. He's got a he's he's got a yellow rock behind the T line on this so he, he you know he's thinking if I can get one to roll no, over that way hitting get something moving. Probably dead stuff, Dave. I'm hitting this. Lead enough in the end that he can't uh, can't draw around that corner. I don't think he's got to get uh, these yellows moving. Ensure he scores. Even if I. Even I hit well, roll. That's what this is too, though. This, you're going to leave three yellows. By doing that, you lose three, three yellows. Oh, I can just pick this pretty good. I don't think you can make it with steel, though, can you? Firm. You can make it with anyway. You're sticking that. Yeah. Yeah, sticking this. I like it. Okay. And this will be Scott's last rock of the end. It's not going to be peeled, firm. 
I'm not throwing peel, firm. Scott just confirming the weight. He's going to throw firm. Um, so Glenn will adjust the broom for that weight call and prepare to peel. So they're uh, asking uh, Tim to carve this. Scott might have got just a hair wide and uh, just might not move it at all. Tim Howard just on the wrong side of the inch right now. And, uh, mm -hmm. Or do we freeze The problem with that is that they know the difficulty of this game and it uh, or do we just gets harder and harder <laughs> every shot. So well, the thing they need something positive to happen Langer, here. Langer, what do you like here? Guard the yellow. I think we're guarding this. Okay. Okay, give me a broom. Yeah, there is, yeah. Real thin. What's that? No. No, no. No, it's real thin too. Yeah, okay, let's go. So that's that's ice to just sh where are you giving Joe to for center? Right there. Okay, you probably need an inch more then. Okay. Right. So um you can see the ice. They've taken ice almost to the edge of the twelve foot, a broom inside the edge of the twelve foot, and they're hoping to stay yeah. on yeah. Uh, the broom side of center line and guard that yeah, shot that the Scott just threw. Uh, they feel there is a thin double on the other side, but that the shooter can't stick around. So that's a pretty safe bet for them. Whoa, oh, pretty wide it's out, out there. there. It's out there. Cool. That's good because we are way out there. That's okay. Stay close. Langer. They Langer. should come down. Yep. Langer, come on, buddy. Hard Langer. Going out this wide, is it? Uh, Hard Langer. We have seen Langer. speed Langer. come off the rocks fairly He's easy. Going. He's going. what's happening Whoa. here, but they're going to get it in the right position that they wanted. Yeah, they guarded the rock. Almost Jeez. overgirled on them. And they might have, actually. I know. Sorry. Oh. I'm to throw, like, board. We can say on the third That's end in uh, the Team Homan. Team I Duncan a game, less. it's a uh, blank for Team uh, Holman, so they'll carry yeah, Hammer into the nuts. fourth with a 2-1 lead. Just keep the shooter to here. Unbelievable. How much? Well, that's what I was looking at. Mike Yell gets this. That is unbelievable how much that fell. I think it's better. It is hitting there. Okay. I want to say hi to our fellow broadcaster, Jerry Sunwall. He uh, tells us he's on the road to recovery. Uh, he's uh, propped up in bed uh, watching the coverage and enjoying every minute of it, missing us, uh, missing being here and announcing. But uh, his loss, your gain, Joey. It's great to hear that he's doing well. Yeah. Jerry, a longtime curler in the Ontario circuit, has played uh, – Many, many events over his career. I think it caught the, it caught that, yeah. Wood broke up there. It's like a, it's like a chainsaw. Hard! Hard! Really got to go again. Asking for Tim to hold this again. Well, yep, 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 yep. looks yep, like yep. he's on the guard. Hold. Same thing, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Same so thing. Mark's going to replace. Like, what are we. Yeah, they just said he can't yeah. score, and the only way uh, Glenn can score right now, as far as they're concerned, is if they have they leave this rock open. So they're going to lock it up and uh, see if they can uh, steal another, at least one. Yeah. Broom's in the same position, so okay. they know the ice, they know the, the weight, so. Okay, still where? Okay, clean. Similar line. Clean. Curl. Clean. Yep, curl. 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 Come on, Lear. Again, this is way out there they're yeah, working it it'll, it'll bust hard at the end they, they, they just need to keep it dragging and keep it going it will bust you can see it crashing the center line now 
Thanks for taking that shot away, I think. Ah, shoot, sorry guys. Try to get as low as possible. Just feather it. Hopefully this, fit, this is gonna stay. I don't know how to score. No, you're not, you're not scoring. Score that? You're not scoring. It's almost, got a, a little it's almost got to play the in-off. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good call, Tim. Yeah, that's a good yeah. call. Team Howard is basically conceding a, the single right now. Um, they're trying to figure out how not to give away more than one. Um, Tim came down and said, well, if we just hit this outside one, stay right on the nose. Um, we'll be second shot, and let's uh, give up the one. Uh, get out of here at 4-0. Um, hopefully things change for them uh, yeah, on the backside. They're taking their time. Important shot here. I don't know if you can make that for to get one. Clint just saying he's confused why the last one curled. Nothing worse than uh, no more. So they're now going yeah. to play on the uh, blue rock here. So they successfully uh, moved everything and gave themselves, you know, give up a steal of one. So after uh, four ends, it is uh, four nothing Team McEwen. We'll be right back. Good end. Even though I'd just gotten a new job that paid well, I still wanted to be prepared for the unexpected. My Sun Life advisor encouraged me to do three things. Get health coverage, start paying back debt, and build a safety net. When I got my cancer diagnosis, my advisor had already helped me become debt-free with enough set aside for emergencies. When I took time off, I didn't worry about my finances so I could focus on getting better. Today, I'm in remission. Want to get started on your story? Let's get you there. Back underway here at the Port Elgin Plex. Ontario men's tankard, and Lady Scotties. Team McEwen currently leading 4 0, throwing their first rock into the top four. Team Howard not hesitating, calling for the corner guard. It's tighter. More. Hey, line's good. Similar. Like to hold it line wise. All right. Okay. Team line. Yeah, on that. No, it's just got to sit. Trying to freeze right on top sit, of the, the first rock in the rings. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Uh, that's a good spot, Joe. Off. That's fine. Glenn Howard calling for a second corner guard, a little bit higher on the same side. Hey, just line. Line's good. You want it just over the center line, or the hog line, I would think. And by throwing the guards on the same side, that keeps a draw path late in the end open on the other side. I'm D. Keep that pop tight. Yes. Tight guard. Right. Better cut this off. 
I don't mind this either. I think so. Team McEwen uh, going to take uh, yeah. the come around away from uh, Team Howard. Um, no, this is more than that. Going to be probably trying to get this no more than a quarter berry, but the, the, the important part is keeping it in at least no no like deeper this. than T line, right. more than likely high Coffee. eight foot. There right now. Hold on. Wait, it's real close. A little heavy. We're there. We're there. It's, it should stop. Let it curl. That does, doesn't need to curl. Doesn't need, need to curl. No, no, right not here. you. Go wait, go wait. Yeah, go wait. Try and cut the try and cut the foot. Good. Good. Nice shot. Good well, mission accomplished. That's it's just, uh, just past buried, but you can really Run see uh, how that yep. goes. They they think they can get around this, to be honest with you. They really see how it goes, and they believe they can get around it still. Calling it back to you out of his hand, so they're going to let this take a bit of curl and then uh, finish it hard with Scott Howard. Want this to stop. Need it to stop for see it goes third sideways shot. right at the end there, Joey. We could see it on the screen. It, Does that it double just said, go into it? I'm going. That just uh, pulled up in time to be third shot. Mike's just looking at the angles here to see there, if it would go on to the blue, but uh, uh, not quite. Thought Mike oh, thought Peel. Another one in there. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Yeah. So the experience yeah. between Ryan Fry and Brent Lang and. Mike's had a ton of experience himself, but they just feel comfortable with the draw here. Yeah, Brent's had his weight bang on so far this game. Um, does need to lock it on, though. Let's see if they can get 60-year-old uh, Glenn Howard to... Uh, Pound this rock as deep as he can, and he yep. tickled it. It must have been uh, almost hot weight coming in, and I'm just teasing uh, Glenn. Yeah, slight. skips are not notorious for uh, being the best sweepers, but uh, yeah. you know what? That rock is uh, it's now fifth shot, so Glenn's going to come in and try and freeze another one. Same, same shot they just threw. Yeah, only a foot and a half uh, heavy there, but that. Uh, that swings the uh, dial back. This rock is really busting. They were off it for uh, for weight. Tim's uh, trying to keep this from. Okay, so. Half maker. Half maker. Turn your left butt. In turn. Oh. Whoa. Try and make the Whoa. double here. We said earlier, Team Howard's just been on the wrong side of the inch this this game. They haven't played horribly, but they haven't uh, hit those finesse shots have just been uh, like not perfectly executed right now. So amazing changes there. Uh, yeah, Howard gets by by that millimeter. He would have been line two, yeah. looking his chops for three, and all of a sudden we got uh, four board. yellows yeah. in there, and Glenn's going to attempt to hit and roll here perfectly. It is still only the fourth, but you can't give up too many more here. Uh, the hitting ability of these teams. Oh, 
Oh, spun back. <laughs> so they are sitting uh, third shot. We're one, two. I two. I can, I can chase that if you want. That uh, spin back kept them at uh, third shot. Yeah, uh, at one point it was looking like they'd be line three. He can see our yellow. He can't make that double. Why, why can't he make? He can chase it and roll. That's, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Okay, chase it. I'm good with that. So, uh, like Ryan it? said if he could see enough of that rock that he could chase it from the outside, <laughs> so you're going to see them. Uh, Throwing some out here. I guess you're looking I guess for I, I only got a quarter. It might be a little, I might be taking on a little bit more than. Well, I, I'm not really worried about, like, you, you can nose this pretty easily. About that, yeah. Throw the guard, Mike. It? Yeah, thin half. What, what else do you see? It, it, it's chase this or guard that. Yeah, whatever you want. I'm easy. Let's guard it. I think Mike really wants to go after it. Even if uh, I make this, he's still going around the corner. Yeah, guard it. Okay. So after that discussion, they've come up with a uh, guard like to uh, make it. So I'm going to guard their uh, yellow sh uh, shot rock. What? I can update you on sheet uh, B. Uh, Team Holman has just uh, drawn for three. And she will take a five to one lead over Team Holly Duncan into the uh, fifth end. Easy have to make this carve quite a bit. Uh, you gotta, you gotta starting to turn now. They want this tight and uh, to get to the center line. So lots of. Uh, Lots of work here. Okay. Okay. And this okay, gives Glenn an opportunity. I'm not sure how that I know. Yeah. Oh boy. Now if I make this and he knows it's a joke, it's solid hack. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So Scott's going to try and uh, I don't know, boys. hit uh, second shot and roll into the center. Maybe set up an angle behind that uh, yellow at the top of the four. Set up the angle for the, the back, back yellow. one this is now second I think you're going here or straight guard it's just not it's awkward for me to follow that like just just tight blue is second and, sure. and third we're either drawn or we're I, I don't mind the guard Whatever you're pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Glenn and Scotty just talking in behind the sheet there, and uh, I like that's that. a little bit, and a very like little it. bit of frustration. But Glenn just said, "We got to score here. We, we got no choice." So. Sorry, Howard is uh, lying. Second, and, second fourth. and fourth. Yeah. Second. That is really Two close. Third. 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 Really close. Really close, actually. Jade Lash. Oh, God, Jules. You can hit the release. A little bit early. Where are you? Okay, whoa, mine's close. Whoa, don't need to curl, I don't think. Distance, distance, 
but I was thinking you won the three. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Real close, actually. Yeah, I didn't even look at it. Uh, Cutting Glenn, just trying to figure out who shot oh. here. Um, Glenn's initial feeling was it was them, but uh, Scotty goes, I don't know. Not sure. Do you hate running this? You make it, it's unreal. You miss it, then you got the out turn and in turn. Where? Out turn? You just got to get through the hole. So, uh, yeah, Tim, Mertz, it doesn't matter. Tim Mertz came down and said, you know what? Let's just draw to the hearts button. That's tough. I don't know, Davey. It's not thrown as much as it used to be. No, it's not. I think you either run that, boys, or you come I through the hole. He comes through the hole and noses, then we're really in trouble. Hmm. No, but then you have the intern and out turn for. That's true. That's true. So they've talked about a draw. Scotty likes the uh, run. So. Normal? The run would be, you know, then they're counting on the measure to go their way. And if that does, then. But they said even if you miss yeah. the, the run, you've got the intern and the out turn draw to the pot for one. And they really want to score this end. They, they need to change momentum here. And uh, they're going to work hard. So if Glenn's able to make this, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's possible for multiple points. Trying to hold it here. So no. They're, they're afraid of. They overcurled a bit. They're getting, they're getting caught on the spot. They, uh, you know, I heard them say earlier, it's running straighter, it's running straighter, and then that one curled. So we've thrown this a bunch of times, try. They're just getting uh, caught. I expect Mike McEwen to come right in the rings here to the. Uh, Top Label four foot, top, uh, top eight, and uh, a good block as much as he can of Glenn's drop off. Where you want to see it? Yeah, I've thrown that shot a few times too. Room, room, room! Well, it's gonna be good. Room! Mike, go! Yes! Yeah, good line, yeah. good line, Well, well, you're gonna get to this yellow, probably. This is uh, gonna get around and watch how far this curls. He's uh, probably back rings weight, or I mean back four weight. And uh, he gets to right where he wants to uh, be. No. Great shot. Yeah. Yeah. Tell. Team Howard in desperate need of a point here. They just uh, got to shake it up and turn the board around. Um, Anyways, yeah, let's go for it. This hammer hasn't yeah. been their friend this You're game, tight. and I've, I've played in a few of those in my life where you, you just you feel like you, there's nothing you can do. Um, and again, they've been on the, the wrong side no, of the inch and very thicker. tight inch, uh, you know, a few just so close misses. And so they're, yeah, that's right. yeah, we uh, run back here, the uh, angle raise into the pot to sit uh, one and score their one and get rid of this dreaded hammer and see if they can uh, yep. take the, uh, uh, the fifth end and try and put some pressure on Team McEwen right now. It's been, uh, Easy sailing for Team McEwen, making their shots. And yep. Whoa. 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 Dave, 
Tim, 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 Tim. Trying to get Tim to carve it. So it's going to go right into the pot. Made it. Made it. Scored at least one. They were looking earlier, so we need to figure out uh, the measure. So you hear the big crowd, and uh, they're going to look at this a lot closer. They are, and Glenn they're going straight to uh, straight to a measure. There was no argument. Uh, you can see the uh, the frustration uh, over. Glenn uh, give the crowd the big uh, oopsie do, and now he's hoping for the measure. So that's right. Well, the players do their own measurements uh, at this level. We've, uh, you know, they know what they're doing. So. Scott just reached back and said no, so. So they're gonna tighten up the stick and see if they can get a more accurate measurement. Uh, so uh, they, uh, you know, Scott just said it's yellow for sure. So he's, uh, he thinks it's yellow based on the first measure. So we'll see. Wow, they're that close. They may need to call an official letter to do another measure. <laughs> Scott, <laughs> Glenn just yelled down from the other end, don't let Ryan talk you out of it. <laughs> and he's he's being fully jokingly. And that's some of the great banter we've seen all week from from Ryan and and Glenn. You guys want to just come in? That was a, uh, either way, I mean, that was a phenomenal shot from Glenn. Oh, yeah, he, and they needed it. They needed a big one. They got the big one. Now they're really hoping for the two. I mean, initially, in the end, Ryan thought it was was the blue. But now that we're measuring, it's uh, that close. I've seen a tie measure before. Um, I got a long story about a uh, points bet to uh, tie measure between uh, Team McEwen and Team Epping that uh, may have cost a couple of groups. I know a significant chunk of change. Yellow. I got yellow. No, so Ryan's got yellow in his mind. Uh, Scotty originally said yellow, but now he's looking at it even closer. One, no. <laughs> it goes past the three quarters. Yeah. So yellow or tied. Do we not use the laser? I don't think so. Can you do it? So they're going to ask the official to come in and take one more look at it. So they said either yellow or tied. So worst case, oh, no, it's uh, worst case, it's one. Better measure. But a tie, you still score one. You still score one. You you get one then. It's a tie. Yeah. Well, it's actually yellow. All right, so uh, they've conceded, and so it's a one point uh, for <laughs> Team Howard here in the uh, fourth end. It's that's four to one. That's as close so as we'll come back for the fifth shortly. On the yellow. You're here for the tool you need. In your perfect color. You're here to fuel your passion. And be inspired by something new. You're looking for something specific. Or maybe nothing in particular. Whatever you're here for, we're here for you. Your local source for premium kitchenware, gourmet food, and more. So welcome back. Uh, the boys were uh, teasing and uh, Scott said pretty close, you know, it was, it was just a hair yellow, but we'll call it a tie to make us feel better. So they get one. Uh, you know, they were hoping, doing everything they could to get that measure to go their way, but uh, the uh, measurer doesn't lie. Um, so they uh, said it's okay. They get one, whether it's a tie or whether yellow won the measure, it doesn't matter. And as you say, Team Howard finally got rid of that uh, hammer. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Scott keeping the uh, ever upbeat just said, hey, guys, if uh, if uh, – if we force to one here, it's not the end of the world. We're still alive. Let's, you know, because they can come back in the six, get a deuce, and, you know, they're 5-3 now, and it's still, yeah. the game's not that far away from them. A couple of couple That's of shots it. either way uh, it's out there. will definitely uh, help them. Don't worry about line. Easy, guys. Easy. 
So, uh, Team Howard got the center line guard up, the tight center. Going to look to put this one uh, just over the hog line in a number, what we call the number one position, which is usually one broom length into the uh, into the center lines onto the center. That the key key thing here is try and get it in the center, stay on the center line. That's fine. Really can't take it. It doesn't matter that it come off. I, I don't predict that uh, Team McEwen will play the tick. Think you go here again. No, correct. Mike's coming right back yeah, in. Yeah, he's, um, he's got hammer. Ask Joey Hart to uh, draw this to the top eight. Yeah, a little. We were alluding to it earlier. Joey had uh, draw weight in his back pocket uh, a few nights ago, so I expect uh, no different here. Easy, guys. Easy, guys. Got to curl. Got to curl a bit. Oh, almost fell. Brent, it's No, it can't. Go, 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 do it, do it, do it. Now they've uh, just Whoa. a little heavy, so they're going to try and uh, freeze it right on top. That's Not fine. Wrong. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah. Steve to uh, Dave Mathers to uh, try and bump the rock. Great shot, the rocks back one rock. Yep, just unlock it a bit. Stay on top. Mike. Just. Just cannot bounce and roll off. Well, no. So they're they're calling a little light. So they're really working it. They're saying top 12. So they might turn guard here really quick. Which one are you throwing first? Three C. Seeing in. Okay. Uh, we go in. Fourth, and it looks like Team Duncan one. scored one with the hammer. That or go right so in. We go in again. Five two lead. Playing after five, sorry. Fifth then, so. Five two lead for Team Holman after five. They'll get their fifth end break, which is five minutes. The ice team will come out and mop the, uh, mop everything, and they'll uh, go down, put a little pebble in the sliding path uh, between the back line and the hack so that uh, the players are comfortable. And hey, you've got some good teamwork going on over there. You've got the ice maker from Port Elgin Curling Club, Dave Cobain, and you've got the ice maker from Blue Water and Owen Sound, Kyle. Out there. They've been here all week. Yeah. Yeah, the ice team uh, it likes to have uh, some locals around who can help them, and they get the uh, important jobs of mopping and cleaning. And <laughs> But uh, they get some experience. I remember last year they were doing a, um, at one point, once we were done with the one sheet, uh, they went out and the, uh, the ice team helped them with a sweeping, uh, or sorry, a um, scraping demonstration and gave them some ideas about uh, what the scraping patterns could be. David's trying this again and it looks light again a little bit. Had no weight. Yeah. Pretty close. You should hit and roll. I think so. So I like this now. Yeah. So our our game here. A lot of work to get a steal here, right? Team McEwen yeah. is uh Make two boys. right on the You're rolling this to, uh, So they're going to run uh, split the center line get rid of this one. Try and roll yeah, into the like center line ice. side. Yeah. Little down. I think after the shot, you're going to see Little Glenn yep. being forced to switch gears Lightly here. Down still. The thinking will go from trying to steal to definitely trying to hold him the one here. Yeah, the important part here is to not give up more than one if they can at all avoid it. Uh, Team McEwen ex executing flawlessly right now, so. Knows it with hack. Boy, he's double peeling, so he knows it again. That might come in, you okay. Make sure of this one. Yep. I kept the one for you. Wait a minute, Scott. Scott trying to get his heart rate down a bit. He pounded pretty hard in that last rock, so you can hear him uh, 
just settling things. Uh, it's one thing these guys would work on in training whoa, is, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. you know, whoa, whoa, Dave, whoa. what we call interval Dave, training, Dave, Dave, 30 seconds of Dave, high intensity Dave. and then try and bring your heart rate down Dave. really, really fast. Tim, Tim, clean, Tim, Tim. Great shot. Two shots for him to get rid of these. Yeah. Yeah. Two thirds. Out turn. Yeah. Yeah. Watch the back one. Ryan got rid of one, but just barely missed the double peel. Is there a good angle or anything? Shoot. All right. Maybe, maybe a little low. Yeah. Right in the nose. Always but nice to. Blocked, I guess you can get a lot of them. Though. Always nice to throw the same shot twice. It is. So they're calling a little more out of his hand, so they're going to ask Tim to carve this. They want it to be a little low, so they want to over curl this by a couple inches. Tim's got this rock moving. It's uh, looking like it's going to be right on the nose. It just get a little low, so they're quite happy with that. That uh, will make them feel better. Let's grab a little harder. Nose that with heel. Does it go? Do you think that blue goes? Not positive on that. Well, like it gets this. out to it gets out there. Yeah, me okay. too. Solid board. As uh, solid board. Scotty said earlier yeah. at the start of the end, he says, "Hey guys, let's uh, you know what? If we uh, if we force here, we're not yeah. in trouble. Solid like board. we're we're in good shape. So that's uh, you know a steal would be a bonus. But the, the game plan right now is let's uh, see if we can uh, force at worst and." Uh, See if we can up our game in the second half and put some big pressure on Team McEwen. Yep. We've seen it all week. They, they've been able to do it. Yep. Hard. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Curl. 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 Whoa. Hard curl. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Good. Yeah, totally agree, Steve. Um, yeah, we still have half a game left. And... Uh, Howard's just been on the wrong side of the inch, which is going to happen. Every day's an, a new day. Yeah, you can easily turn it around. You know, the shot Glenn made in the uh, fourth the angle into the pot in the fourth to Throw that, some weight. That, score their one and give them a close measure. You know, let's face it, it could have been easily two. Um, change, kind of change the spirits a little bit. You see the boys are a little more upbeat, a little more uh, prepped and ready to go. So the shoulders were slumping a little there. They need some. Uh, they need something to happen. Glenn never goes away easily. You can ask Mike Fournier or <laughs> Rooney that. Um, but Mike, Mike McEwen's team is uh, on form so far. Speaking of uh, Team Rooney, I, yep. I do Whoa. see them here at the yep. final watching it, and a shout Whoa. out to them. Whoa. Good for them for sticking around, and they're, uh, they're heading to the Great. World U21 yep. shortly. Their uh, their future's so bright, I gotta wear shades. <laughs> so Glenn was looking to roll a little further underneath, and that way uh, take away this opportunity. So right now. Um, Team McEwen has a chance to double them, stick, and that would uh, give them a great opportunity for uh, scoring a deuce here. And uh, not putting the game away, but definitely putting it uh, in uh, harder stead for uh, Team Howard. Yep. Yeah. 
Must be close. When you hear a yes, no, no, yes, uh, you, as a sweeper, you know we're really close, so just keep your broom down. And so does your I know. Glenn's uh, looking to get around. Um, the stone that was just thrown, and uh, you know, hope that uh, Mike can't make the short run back. Um, it's uh, it's that point in the end where they need that the game where they need to score. Um, they, they, they can't uh, they can't eliminate both stones. I don't think they could play a real thin double, but even that's scary. So they're. Um, Looking at the broom here, hair making more? sure they're in the yeah. right spot. So they're asking for a hair more. The boys confirming the weight's uh, good in this area. So Glenn uh, trying to get to the button, back button, fully buried. Well, Ruth, Call me then don't sweep it. Back eight, they're calling. You'd almost be, want to be just a sliver yeah, open yep. here, Joy, because uh, it's harder for them to uh, make the run back because of the blue rock that's in the front. There they go. They're going to carve it and try and get it to finish. Keep twirling it. Yep, no, you can still go. Nice shot. Sit. So, Glenn line one right now. Yep. Good shot. Mike's going to. Same way. Yeah. Attempt this is, uh, they could plant it, boys. If they plant Firm. this, it'll be uh, for three and a 7 1 Good lead. Shot. Mike just settling into the hack with his very familiar routine. Um, we talked a bit about that yesterday where uh, curling and golf are very similar. Pre-shot routines, uh, you should try and do the same thing every single time. It gives you that consistency and, and, and approach and how you do things. Clean, curl, well, clean, straight, yes, curl, yes, straight, straight, curl, yes, come on. So, uh, Team McEwen successful at uh, the shot, takes a uh, seven, to one lead into the fifth end break. We'll be back uh, shortly after the team, they sham me the ice and we got a five minute break here, folks. The roaring game is rocking the soggy shores and we're proud to be the title sponsor. We believe supporting local events like the Tangard is simply what good neighbors do for each other. We're Port Elgin Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram on Highway 21 and in our house, you'll find a great selection of new and used cars and trucks. Plus, our professional service team will always hurry hard to keep you on the road worry-free. We're Port Algon Chrysler, driving community on the soggy shores. When you push out, get the rock in front of you, okay? And as you push out, just try and keep that left foot under your body as best you can. And if you want to put, put a little weight on that, use it as like, we're not trying to make shots here. Good job. That was impressive. This is going to be easy. So you need to sweep in front of the rock. Make sure you bend at the waist. Okay, guys, let's give this a whirl. Remember what Kate said, bend at the waist, sweep in front of the rock.
Enjoy the luxury of your own personal spa and make time with family amazing. Swim, exercise, relax, and play with all the benefits of a hot tub and pool in one unit. Arctic Spa's all-weather pools are the original and only pools specifically built for year-round use. Industry-leading quality and technology combined to deliver extremely low running costs compared to traditional pools. Now, owning a pool in any climate finally makes sense. You deserve it. Arctic Spas Southampton.ca. There's a lot more to curling than just watching the game. Hear the athletes. Feel the energy. Cheer on Team Canada. Don't miss the BKT Tires and OK Tire World Men's Curling Championship. Get your tickets at curling.ca. All right, welcome back after the fifth end break, everyone. Uh, Steve Shania and Joey Rettinger here uh, working the sixth end. It's a 7-1 lead for Team uh, McEwen. Uh, it's uh, our time stream. Howard He's going to want to score a deuce here and see if he can shuffle it up in the sixth, seventh, and eighth. So uh, see what's going on. The crowd is uh, still full. Nobody's left the building in any way, shape, or form. So we have... Uh, Two excellent finals out here in the ice. Uh, Team Holman uh, working on, a, I believe, a 6-2 to two lead on their sheet, uh, Joey. With Hammer in the sixth, playing uh, Skip Rocks in the sixth. They're a little uh, slightly ahead of our sheet. Team McEwen predictably coming to the top four. Team uh, Howard's going to go hard for a, a, th a three, so I uh, expect to see a uh, high guard followed by a tight guard. No. Yeah, that game more there, you're mentioning the ladies' final is five, currently no, five, five to two. two. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, my bad. We don't need to tap it on the nose. Do we ever tap it on the nose and they guard our guard? Got to stop. We can even choke if you want yeah, you can go on the other side, Timmer. Oh, that's good, that's good, that's good. Yeah. I thought he threw it. Mike predictably coming in again. Wants to keep it a couple oh, feet higher. That's hard, Mike. <laughs> okay. Can you? The sweepers are backed. 
feel that it's a bit heavy here. I guess spots, Joe. Spots real good. Okay. Two great shots. Yes. Uh, we've been alluding to it. Joey Hart's uh, had his weight in his uh, back pocket for the last few games we've watched. And it seems Ben prefers to corner guard on the same side, but uh, due to the positioning of the first stone, he's going to. It's going to go to the other side. Yeah, once they once they uh, got it in what I'll call the two zone, they wanted either a, they wanted the high guard, and then they come around with the second one and make it a uh, even better. So they're going to try and level these up. <laughs> Good sweep in here by the boys too. So Mike did this in another end. He what they called choking off uh, the draw. So they're going to choke off the. Uh, they get choke off the yeah, entry right. point to, to Team Howard coming around that corner. So uh, I would imagine Glenn will go to the other side and see if they can chase. Glenn's uh, going to go fairly aggressive here for three, I would imagine. And we've got uh, about seven feet of ice here. Yeah. Once it across the center, it'll really go. Under curl has not been a problem on draw weight. As we said uh, many times, you can uh, you can easily get to uh, a rock that's uh, buried here with uh, back line to hack weight on a regular basis. A little heavy, but close. Line's good. Doesn't need to curl. No, Joe. No, no. Just just sit tight. Angle fully. Try one. Yep. Yep. That rock sliding, and it's as it comes into the rings, it slides completely sideways. Looking over on our uh, B sheet here, Team uh, Homan drawing for one against uh, one back four. It's okay, going to have to grab here. And that's okay. Successful. So, uh, as I said a few minutes ago, it's a 6 2 lead, Joey. I just was uh, had a premonition, I guess. So, Team Homan up 6 2 okay, after the uh, sixth end. You're back four, back eight. You're back eight. Gonna open, should be open. All right, Mikey. Yeah. Well, not enough, eh? I think you're peeling. It's pro. I'm okay at the rip. Yeah. Double's probably going over there too. Same throw, the other side. Straight peel for Brent Lang. Yeah, like we said, you got to get these these come arounds on the corner guards you've got to be almost over curled so they said they had a thin half on the outside of the rock so they could see a thin half of it but they just don't feel comfortable they said let's just peel which um same way might be a bit of a scoreboard call too it's a safe play right you ever uh, try and go after it and chase it on the uh, on that side and you happen to hit the guard and push it into the rings. It's, it's so many here. bad things can happen and you don't want to make a shot for the other team at this level. Around it's um, a cardinal sin. No, 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 no. That's okay. Where? Back eight. Line's good. Line's good. Back eight. Close. No, wait there. Hard. Hard. We're all there. Trying to get this one by. He now he's called it your by, so. Shot, Dave. Great shot. And that is a great throw from David Mayers. Very, very good throw. You can see that rock went by a rock in the eight foot mm -hmm. and is overburied to the 12 foot. Like, overburied by half a rock. Mm -hmm. It's uh, unreal how much curl there is here. And when the rock finishes, it really does go sideways the last eight to 12 inches. Yep. Mike's just going to go ahead and hit the open one. Yep. Rocks, uh, they don't need rocks in play at all now. Seven to one lead. I said, therefore. Glenn Luckin said, it's you this time. Ah, it was you last time, apparently. So <laughs> he's confirming that uh, it's yellow. They're going to. 
Yeah, it's pretty good. Try and hit and roll between the staggered rocks on uh, on there. to get to the inside of this, but it uh, looks like it's going to be a nose, maybe a... Okay, well, it's that uh, yeah, you can make third fly. shot. So now it leaves I don't a... think you need to, though. No. I think the nose is good. On oh, practice, that was lightning straight. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, wider. Whoa. 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 Yep. Oh, yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Curl, curl, curl. Good, good, good. Good. Good sweep. Trip, yeah, double there. Hit the back of it, at least we'll get this to play. Throw it, yeah, good call. What's that, Jim? Oh, this? Shouldn't. Make this. Can I make the double? Yeah, yeah, you can just move it for sure. <laughs> for sure. Three, Three quarters? Or two. Three quarters? Yeah. I'm going to try and make the, uh, you know, Scotty asked, can you make the double? Uh, Glenn said, no, but you can move it, right? So, yep. three quarters of a rock here, take it over, Hard. jam Hard. the other uh, yellow Hard. away, which. That back rock into play. It's uh, not exactly what they were looking for. They really wanted to be. They really wanted to move that uh, well, yellow stone that's biting the eight foot to to I bring their back rock into play. Mm -hmm. Jam it. What? They just didn't, uh, that's what I'm thinking too. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we need to risk. Yes. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that's a good call. Um, Let's see, oh, is that more predictable? Oh, the in is. Yeah, I like the in. Okay, let's go, Mikey. What are you throwing, control? I was thinking, uh, I was thinking nice, nice, good control. Yeah, I, th I think he knows this. Good control. So Mike's going to hit the uh, high side of this rock and make sure it goes away. It may clip them blue at the back for the double. Yeah, they're committed to just uh, almost a nose hit. Uh, they don't think that uh, Glenn will have the, the same shot that Scotty just tried to throw. So they're, uh, they're fairly comfortable with that. Uh, something's under it. It's, is there something wrong? Let's go, boys. I'll give him the other There's rock. We got two of them. Weird. Team McEwen. Mike felt there was something under the rock. Uh, they kicked it over and said switch rocks. And Brent has uh, taken a look. He spun the, spun it. It seems fine. So they'll look, check it out after uh, Mike throws here. They'll, you'll see the front end go down and uh, give it a good clean. Yeah. Be prepared. Yeah. If there was something wrong with the rock, they could ask for a technical timeout. The ice makers would come out and... Uh, have a look. Yep. The one thing that uh, each team does is is they get a spare rock. So if they feel there's a piece of granite missing or the rock is wrong, they will uh, they'll be able to bring in their spare if they really have to. That shot. So when they pick their eight rocks, they actually pick nine. Um, uh, we leave a rock out there for them. To board. Joe, get scrubbing that when it's done. Get scrubbing that rock when he's done. Glenn's looking for the hit in the long roll here. So the lead, uh, Joe's been instructed to get down there after uh, Glenn throws here and scrub, the, polish that rock down to pure granite again. So there's Mike's going to be comfortable to throw it and make sure there's nothing in the, in there. And if, if they do see something wrong with the rock, they will uh, call what's called the technical timeout. All the clocks will stop. Whoa. And they will uh, 
They'll be able to take, have the ice makers come down, take a look at the rock. Dave, 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 Dave. And we're hoping to roll this quite a bit. Oh, you gotta roll. This is because this is their freight. Yeah. Okay. Roll, roll, roll this is. Or yeah, even all the way over to this is fine. Control. Yeah. Just the type of day it's been so so far for, control, for eh? Team Howard. With that, control. Yeah, you'll get a nice little bit of curl. Is it okay now? Okay. So Brent had a good look at that rock, and uh, he said, "Mike asked, is it okay now?" And Brent says, "Yep." So. We're back no, in play here, yes, no fear. So I'm rolling your way then, eh? Almost uh, to the side four. Yes. Mike McEwen being asked to hit and roll um, to the center line side. He's, you know, he's just confirming in his mind that that rock's okay. Sometimes when you feel it, he's just making sure, which is okay. It's a good plan. You got to be positive before you uh, release the rock. You know that it's right. Asking Joey to carve it a little bit to make it roll to a perfect position. So Team Howard's going to make a decision here as to what their, uh, you know, Team uh, McEwen is lying to, Good, what they believe is lying to. Glenn kind of conceded yeah. that front yellow earlier. Glenn's looking at a very thin double here to uh, score his deuce. I was solid hack. Yeah, that's cool. Board later, stick bang. And we're getting into probably must make territory here. Uh, I would agree. Yeah, uh, you know. 8 to 1 isn't the end of the game, but uh, it's uh, not a happy place. Whoa! 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 Yep! Yep! They're yelling full board. Whoa! Whoa! They're really close here, I think. Oh, just over the top. Over the top. Wow. Well, it's a steal of one in uh, the sixth end for uh, Tim McEwen and an 8-1 lead. Some things can only be experienced in person. Hear the athletes. Feel the excitement. Celebrate the shots and see the plays the cameras don't. Don't miss the Tim Hortons Briar, presented by AGI. Get your tickets at curling.ca. Welcome back. Uh, I just updated the score, but it is an 8-1 to one lead for uh, Team McEwen. Uh, Joey Hart uh, has been called to uh, put a center line, um, rock on the center line, top four. That's here. That uh, last in, uh, Glenn was pretty close there. That was uh, full of the broom. They weren't, uh, That's us, Joe. They weren't uh, upset with the line and uh, uh, the just over anyway. overcurled just that, that little oh, bit. Good. Mike. Yeah, they had to uh, hit that so thin. Or, or, or chip. Or chip. Yeah, or that. Howard's, uh, you know, they've been saying the ice is straighter, straighter, and then they get caught with an overcurl, right? So it's... it's Just a fine line, and you have one team um, in good position, and the other team is chasing. Chasing on the scoreboard. Chasing to make thin, thin doubles, and and that's just the way the game goes. Some days, 
I will say that if our, in, if our game ends um, early um, and the, the uh, women's final is still ongoing, we'll uh, take a short break and then we will come back and just reposition the cam cameras and uh, Joey and I will provide secondary commentary, but you uh, can easily flip Wait, over to that game if you want. Uh, the uh, closing ceremony is to be held here on sheet C, so once both games are done, they'll, uh, they'll get uh, organized and uh, move the... Uh, Move the cameras and get everybody ready to go so that uh, we can uh, have the Parade of Champions here uh, after both games are complete. And not to say that anything's done at this point. Team Howard uh, is going to put up two corners and work to try and score a three. Uh, you know, that puts it 8-4 after seven. As the movie saying goes, so you're saying there's a chance. Yes, we are. It's uh, not out of reach at this point. Team Howard did ask if, uh, if required, uh, at what point can they shake? And uh, the answer was whenever they want. So we, uh, yeah, we've eliminated that rule where you have to play. Uh, right here. With us owning our own TV broadcast, we're not, uh, we're not beholden to uh, uh, a national broadcaster who is looking for two hours or three hours of broadcast. We're uh, here to bring you a good quality curling, a good game. And uh, it's been my experience that I don't, I don't enjoy seeing a team that uh, knows they've lost the game being forced to throw more rocks and you know once it's over it's over so we're not saying it is but uh team go howard's going to go hard for a three here i can guarantee it go go joe go just trust me a good pass no no good pass here over there no wait you're good still going to have joe. to go at the end you got to go mine's good mine's good you still want to go joe yep. yep right here come on joe dig come on joe okay you're good joe. Okay. Team Howard's going to come shot. around the corner. Um, as we've said, they're going to want to be half a rock past buried. Um, that's about the only way that you can uh, hide here. Um, you want to show half a rock on the outside of the corner guard. So they're uh, calling pretty heavy. They're just uh, cleaning it. I want to go. So that means it's actually pretty good. I'm sitting right behind that sheet, and I can see about two thirds of that rock. But uh, Tim McEwen's not going to take any rest. They're going to peel away here. And Brent Lang, uh, as we discussed the previous telecast, if you've seen him throw one rock, you've seen him throw a million because. It's been around a long time and uh, has a, a, quite a pedigree in, uh, in curling in Ontario. <laughs> He's uh, a great resume. I love it. Looking over on sheet B, I believe oh, yeah, I Team Holman has <laughs> taken one in a the square. seventh. Back, a so that will make Back it forward. a... Oh, yeah. Wait, Seven to two lead on that Close. side, Joey. Am I correct? Never You're correct. That? It's Thank all you. there. So come around that grain perfect again. Half half buried line. around the three quarters of the half over buried is what I'm trying to say. Um, same That's what quarter. we've noticed all week. You need to do Run. that to, to get there. So. really close. Okay. Couldn't do anything here, Fry. Okay. And, uh, Ryan Fry being asked to make the peel, as expected. Yep. Yeah. So, Glenn's laying uh, yep. three throw and four, but he's, uh, you know, he's, he's got uh, two rocks split the rings, and he's uh, trying to guard. Sure. He'll eventually, you have to make a play on the two in the middle, but uh, they're not, you know, it's a pretty straightforward double for guys at this level. So. Killing the line. Yep, 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 
The way things are lying right now, Joey, we could if see can, two import can. players uh, representing Ontario. So Mike McEwen importing into Ontario. Uh, as is allowed under the rules, so he's a free agent uh, coming out of Manitoba. And then Tracy Fleury uh, coming out of uh, Northern Ontario mm. into Ontario to participate. So, um, yep, yep. Hard, hard, Joe! Hard! hard. No, curled no. again. Oh, shoot. That's all you have that time. Good try, bud. Yeah, it does. Okay. The Briar in London has discussed, and uh, Scotty's out in uh, Kamloops this year. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't want to throw those any more aggressive. <laughs> Glenn making them play now on the, the two in the center line. On the center line, he's going to try and uh, rattle them around a bit. And, uh, roll to the center and get some separation. Yeah. I, I, you know, unless you throw a missile, I don't know. There's really a there's a double yep. to the to the left as we see it on our screen right now. Um, Mike's going to give it a whirl. Calling for a thick half here. This is close, folks. Really, really close. Made it. Yeah, so. It's a great McEwen, shot. Uh, team McEwen has been very solid today. Um, you know, and, and we like to say Team Howard. But they've put T. Howard in tougher spots, right? And it's, it's not always that you're missing your shots. It's that the other team has put you in, you know, the percentage shot is lower. The, uh, you know, the odds of making it are slimmer. and So. I was going to try a board weight hit there and uh, stick and uh, try and get his deuce. Predict uh, Team McEwen will just hit something and uh, you know what? They're going to yep. concede the deuce. Uh, they're not going to do anything crazy yep. that. Uh, might bring a three into play. They're just going to uh, go, Tim. Go. You know, an eight to three lead after uh, seven go. is not the worst thing in the world. No. Take the hammer back, take it back to an even end. Yeah. yeah. You can see Team McEwen's front end uh, cleaning the path yep. uh, diligently, making sure there's nothing in the way. Mike's just going to come down and try and nose hit the uh, shot rock here at the back of the rings. and. I think we just know that would leave, uh, leave Glenn a, a nose hit for two. No, just spin. I don't think that's necessary. Just bonk this. Yep, yep. Oh, Joe. Queen. Yep. Yes. Oh. Nice, Mike. So Mike McEwen making the hit and stick, and uh, we'll see the same shot here from from Glenn Howard, and then um, Team Howard will have a decision to make. Uh, I, I don't think Glenn likes the position of being down five without, uh, but that's their call. Quiet board weight hit here and just to let the sweepers uh, 
They control it. We've seen it all week. And sweepers can control the rock with this kind of weight. And when you up your weight, it's uh, really hard for the sweepers to work on it. So here's a two for Team Howard for an eight to five lead for Team McEwen playing eight. I think we're going to see some handshakes here, fellas. And uh, we have our final. So uh, congratulations to Team McEwen. They will be the Ontario champions for 2023 and heading off to the Briar in London. Congratulations. Joey Hart chasing his dad's, uh, his dad's uh, number of hearts. He's got one now. So uh, look out, uh, Richie. Joey's on his way. Pretty sure uh, Dad Richard is uh, very proud and pleased of his son. Just bear with us. We'll uh, let everything settle down here. Thanks, guys. Click on it. Uh, Mary Chilbers and Sam Steeper bringing you the coverage on that side. Uh, we're going to provide m minor commentary. Um, just uh, you know, we're not quite behind that sheet. We're on an angle. Camera crew and the truck doing a fine job. They're giving you a side angle so you can see the house. It's about the best we can do for you right now. Uh, we don't uh, we don't have the ability to to tap into that feed. We're we're separate circuits. But uh, Team Holman leading. Uh, Five to two, six to two, no, seven to two uh, here in the uh, eighth end. Line three, I believe. Line three. So, uh, Team McEwen will. Team McEwen getting their photos done and uh, all the obligatory stuff that we have to do for uh, preparing them to go to the briar. Uh, they'll get uh, fitted for uniforms here shortly. Uh, event chair, event coordinator Dave Hutchison uh, will disappear and let all of us do the hard work, Joey, and uh, he'll sit in the bench uh, getting them fitted and then come out and say, well, you guys are done already? I'm just teasing. <laughs> Dave's been around a long time and uh, uh, has been to every of these events. I think he's 28 or 29 years with the association and everybody knows Hutch. Um, we teased him earlier in the week. We played a little prank on him. Uh, anybody that knows Dave knows that he wears the sunglasses on his forehead with regularity. So uh, we went out to the dollar store and bought uh, 10 pairs of sunglasses. And uh, there was three of us over on what we called the uh, media bench. And uh, we were sitting there. And then the ice techs all had them on. And uh, we put them all on our forehead right exactly as Dave wears them. It took him all the minute to notice we were doing it. And uh, he got a good chuckle. He said, good one, boys. You got me. Team uh, McEwen just enjoying the moment here. And as they should, right? They're uh, the Ontario champions heading to the Briar in London, a hometown Briar, except for Mike. But we call him a hometown boy now. He's uh, playing with an Ontario crest on his back. So congratulations to them. We'll have the official ceremonies uh, here live on Sheet C once uh, once they're, uh, that this game, the Team Holman game and Team uh, Duncan game is over. I'm just going to step away for a second and give the boys a congratulations. I'll be right back. All week. Came out victorious.
see the teams march up the uh, center of sheet uh, C uh, and accept their uh, their prizes. Uh, Rick Thurston is going to head down to the other end and hand out all the goodies. Chair uh, Rick Thurston, curl on chair. Thank him for. Joey, I want to thank you very much for filling in. Uh, I'm sure you've uh, got a few memories to go forward here and uh, are happy. So uh, thank you very much, Jerry uh, Sunwall, uh, headed home uh, early in the week with a little illness and wanted to make sure he extended his thanks to you also for, for everything. So Really appreciate it. It was a great week. Uh, thrilled no, to not at all. Uh, be here and uh, call these exciting games and uh, um, Two great uh, champions representing Ontario. Port Elgin had a, a great first-class event, and uh, uh, w we hope to do it all again uh, sooner rather than later. Well, we know we're going to be next year. We know we're going to be down in uh, Dorchester and in Ingersoll, hosted by the Ingersoll Curling Club. We'll uh, be, I think they've uh, branded it the Clash on the Thames. Um, so we're looking forward to uh, working with Bob Armstrong and his uh, committee down there. Uh, they've already started. They've already been at it. I know they've got uh, Dick Bowman on sponsorship, who did a bang-up job last time. I tell you, that guy could sell ice anywhere he wants to. And uh, he's going to go out there and uh, work the numbers strong so that we can uh, have a great package for you next year. Uh, Aiden Corcoran handled uh, most of the uh, duties and the festivities and, and organizing committee. So we're looking forward to working with that group uh, this year and uh, we're just going to let uh, Dave Middleton take it over here from the end hopefully you can pick it up on our boom mics and uh, we'll sit here quietly and let the champions uh, take their walk and see the piper starting to come down and get ready so it's awesome just going to go extend my congratulations team home in here I'll be right back teams, Team Holman and Team McEwen. said we had good beat. <laughs> First of all, here to present the championship trophies, please welcome from our title sponsor, from Port Elgin Chrysler, please welcome Mr. Frank Beck.
And also, everybody up here in the stands, behind me, up there, uh, big round of applause for yourselves who have made this an exciting event for the players and everything.